refusing to give up hope of finding survivors buried beneath the rubble. Search and rescue teams from Spain and Qatar raced against the clock in Morocco's remote Atlas Mountains. Last week's powerful earthquake, which struck near Marrakesh, killed more than 2,900 people and injured over 5,500 others. Rescuers continue to provide care. Evacuation by helicopter is sometimes the only way to get much needed medical treatment to survivors. But aftershocks are not helping. They continue to rock Morocco. More than 25 have already hit the country since the 6.8 magnitude earthquake. In Marrakesh, Morocco's King Mohammed VI was a surprise visitor to the city's university hospital centre. The Moroccan authorities have come under criticism for only accepting limited foreign aid, despite rescuers struggling to reach remote regions hardest hit. But the government says it does not want to risk a chaotic situation, a bottleneck of dozens of countries and aid organisations arriving to help. Many buildings in Marrakesh's historic Medina have fallen victim to the quake. Made of ancient mud brick, they were too fragile to withstand the tremor. About 85% of the houses have been destroyed. In some cases, entire families are living on the streets, too fearful to return to those homes still standing.